Hello everybody, my name is Danny Lowe. I'm the 4-H agent in Davie County. And today I want to do a really cool science experiment. This experiment is something that you can do easily at your house. And it's all about chemistry. And one of the important things with chemistry is what's called pH. And pH is the measurement of how acidic or basic a solution is. And so the pH scale goes from 0 to 14. And it's a little different. It, um, acidic solutions have a pH from 0 to 7. And then basic solutions have a pH from 7 to 14. So if something's neutral, it's kind of got a pH right in the middle. That, a great example is water. That pH is going to be 7. And so what I've got, guys, is I've got seven different liquids here. And the, the biggest solution I've got, and my indicator for pH, is going to be this purple liquid here. This purple liquid is just boiled cabbage juice. So we're using red cabbage as our indicator for pH, which is a really cool, fun experiment to do. Now, whenever we do an experiment with chemicals, you always want to take safety and caution. So number one, I'm not going to drink any of these. I'm going to use the indicator to determine what my solution is and how acidic or basic that solution is. Number two is I've got protective gloves, I've got protective um, eyeglassware, so you need goggles or gloves anytime you deal with chemicals. And number three is always do this with gloves. Never do this by yourself. This is a really fun experiment to do, but it's important to always have a grown-up to tell you which, which chemicals you can safely use. So, here goes nothing. We're going to mix some cabbage juice with some of these chemicals. So I've got all these vials here. Some of them are very clear liquids, and some of them aren't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of this purple cabbage juice here, and we're going to see what happens. Now we're going to look for a chemical change where coloration, in, where the coloration of the liquids is going to change, and we're going to match it up along our pH scale here. So let's see which ones are acids and which ones are bases. Hey, getting some coloration change already. Last one, here we go. Okay, so let's go through our pH scale and see which liquids are bases and which ones are acids. So this one here, definitely looks like it's kind of purplish. It's right on the neutral line. This one here is sugar water. So it's kind of got that nice little bit of green in it or a little bit of blue in it. And so it's kind of getting closer towards that purple blue mark there. So it's kind of got a pH of seven. This one here is baking soda. So this baking soda and water, water mixture, it's kind of got that aqua blue. So that's a pH of about 10. So definitely a base. This one's a pretty strong base. This one's milk of magnesia. So this is something that you can take to if you've got an upset stomach. This one's kind of got a green slurry coloration to it. So that one's gonna be kind of in between aqua and green. So that one's gonna be about a pH of t about 11-ish. It's gonna be this green one here. Okay, this one's nice and purple. This one is just watered down cabbage juice. I just added water here, didn't add any other solution. So that's our nice neutral pH of about six to seven. And then we've got our nice light pink here, about a pH of two, that's lemon juice. So this one's a pretty strong acid got that citric acid in it and then we've got a nice dark pink here and this is Sprite so soda any carbonated beverages are acids they've got a little bit of carbon dioxide in there that's what makes the bubbles so this is our pH of four so this is a really fun experiment to do at home you can use all sorts of different types of chemicals and uh, just be safe with them um, you can do all the way when it comes to base you could do a very strong base like bleach the problem with bleach though is you're going to get this kind of yellowish coloration for about a minute or two then it's going to turn completely clear just because it's going to bleach out all that purple cabbage juice. But other than that this is a really fun safe experiment to do and I challenge you to do some awesome cool chemistry and if you want to post your picture down in the comments below I'd love to see your pH scale that you did at home. 
thank you guys for tuning in and uh, we look forward to having you um, come visit uh, the North Carolina 4-H page more often and come spend uh, your time with us. Thank you.